Hi, uh, today we're going to be talking about Leitner boxes. Um, Leitner boxes are a system for uh, memorizing flashcards in a way that um, helps us learn better than just looking at a card over and over again. And how it does that is through spaced repetition. And what that means is that when you use a system like this, as you master something, you're going to see it less often. Um, but if you're struggling with something, you're going to see it frequently. So, first thing you need to do to make your Leitner box um, is to have whatever it is that you're memorizing. Now, in our case, we are memorizing snap words. Now, snap words are words that we should know in a snap. Um, the thing of it is, is that if we're sounding out words like the, then it's really going to slow down her reading. Um, the words that I sent for you are the Fry 100, and they are the 100 most commonly used words in English writing. Um, they make up about half of all of the words that you'll encounter when you read. Uh, so mastering these and making it so that it's automatic when you see one is really, really important. So how do you make your Leitner box. First of all, you need any box or any container. It doesn't have to be a box. Something that will fit your cards. Um, I've looked around my house until I found something that would fit flashcards. It could be a shoebox, anything. Um, cans. You could paper clip them into different stacks. Then you're going to make labels for your levels. I'm really hoping I'm going to be able to flip this all around when I edit this video because everything is backwards for you right now. Um, so I have eight cards, and they are labeled new, and then level one all the way up to level seven. Um, a card, something that's at level one, you're going to practice every day, or every time you use your box at least. Um, level seven will come up every 64 days. So when something's at level seven, um, that means you've really mastered it, and you don't need to practice it very often. Um, now, how do we use it? First, so we're going to have our cards in our box, our, our labels in our box like this, and we take our word cards uh, that we're going to be trying to master, and we put them all in at new. Now, what you'll do is every day you're going to take some number of cards, I'm going to suggest between 10 and 20, and you're going to move them from new to level one. Then you'll follow uh, the schedule to know what levels you're practicing on any given day. I'm going to take a pull out my cards for level one today and I'm going to look at them and I'm going to say the look hmm not sure wuh, wuh, wuh. now we're trying to have these in a snap. So if you don't know it in a snap, it's not a snap word yet, even if you can stretch it out. So when you know one of these as a snap, um, you're going to move it up a level. So I knew the and look, so they're going to move from level one to level two. And uh, level two, I'm going to look at about every other day instead of every, every day. So let's say on the next day, I look at the and look, which are both in level two, and I'm also going to look at my level one cards as well. Um, but with just this for example, and we're going to always start at the highest number level that we're practicing for the day. If I go look, hmm, tahui, tahui, the? Well, I didn't really have that in a snap yet. Look, I did. So look is going to move from level two to level three which I'll see even less often, and the is going to go back to level one. Anytime I get to something and I don't know it in a snap, I'm going to move it back to level one to practice it more. Now, that can be frustrating if you've gotten a card very high up, like it's a level five or level six, but don't worry. If, if you got it there, it means you really have it in your mind, and you'll move it back up again quickly. Now, it is easy to end up with lots of cards in level one. Um, 
if you keep adding them every day and some move back and some stay in level one, level one is where you're doing a lot of work. It is okay if level one is getting very full, like let's say you have 40 cards in level one, to uh, not add any new ones on a day. You can wait until you have fewer in level one before adding new, or just practice some of them. Practice 20, whatever it might be. Um, it's, it's your system to manage. You have to make it work for you. Now, you may end up with the opposite problem. The, the Fry 100 might not be giving you enough of a challenge. So there's a couple of options at that point. First of all, you can move on to less frequently used words. Uh, the, the Fry lists actually go up to 1,000. 1,000 most frequently used words. I'd be happy to send you those lists um, and printable flashcards. Um, you may not want to use the printable flashcards and write them out on index cards or whatever you have around. Um, it's really up to you. Now, you can also just pick words that you are working on mastering. Like, let's say that you are writing a book and studying about the, the wonderful bird, the osprey. Maybe you want osprey to be one of your snap words. It's not on the Fry 1000, even. It's just a word you want to know. So put osprey on a card and add it into the new. You can even use it outside of snap words and reading. You can put math uh, or really anything you want to memorize onto one of these cards. So let's say I'm thinking about combinations of 10. Um, I might on this have this card where it says 3 plus 7. And I want to think about what does that equal? It's 10. Memorizing the, the numbers that, uh, which I'll talk about in a different video, that add up to 10 is really, really helpful in mathematics. So maybe that's something I want to add to my box. You're, I want you to start with snap words, but if you're finding you need more, use it for anything that you need help with. Um, it's a really flexible system. Uh, if you want more ideas about how to use it, or if there's anything that wasn't clear about what I'm showing you here, please email me. Um, I'm happy to answer follow-up questions or do another video if this was all just very confusing. All right, well, I hope that was helpful, and I'll talk to you soon.